Hi, I'm ProPM, and today we're going to 3D print out a couple of karambit knives. So recently I started playing uh, uh, CSGO. Uh, I used to play uh, uh, 1.6 back in the days, but uh, it's been a long time uh, since I did that. And uh, I see this uh, knife thing is kind of a big deal amongst uh, a lot of players so I thought why not uh, try to print one and so I did I actually tri printed out three uh, karambit knives um, the first one didn't turn out so good I'm going to show you this now so here's the first one printed in black ABS um, the problem with printing ABS uh, is that uh, it have a tendency to lift while printing with ABS and that's exactly what happened uh, especially at the blade so it didn't turn out w uh, really well then I had to print it out in in uh, PLA and also I'm going to have some pictures uh, in the back and some some uh, uh, time lapse and I'm um, for the version that I actually painted and spent a lot of time in making it look nice and special. Uh, uh, that time lapse will be in the end. Well, actually, no, I didn't make a time lapse of that one. I think. Well, actually, uh, anyway. Okay, so. And also, this is the actual game size. This looks really small, but it fits perfectly in my hand. Um, you can like um, flip it around, like in the game. And well, <laughs> but anyway, I, I thought it was really small, so I print scaled up a large one, and it's way too big. I mean, um, my hand goes around this grip. So it's not really comfortable. Uh, bleh, comfortable. Oh fuck! Never mind. <laughs> Can't seem to uh, proper English today. So anyway, um, it turned out really nice. Um, you can see the blade. Well, you probably can't see it, but the tip turned out a bit strange uh, because it's <laughs> like a small distance to print for the printer so anyway that's kind of cool it, it's cool because it's huge but it's useless and now for the final version and i'm actually kind of uh happy with the way it turned out i spent a lot of time sanding it down uh using filler to make all the lines um not up here anymore and um, I primed it and I painted it and I masked it and I painted it again and here it is on its stand it's it's so nice uh, I used a special paint well it's two component well it's two different types of paint one with like a purple it's like a clear coat with purple in it, so it's not entirely... Uh, well, it's a bit transparent, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I used a, a blue base coat uh, before I used a purple one. And, and masked all around the edges. Uh, took a fair bit of time to get it... Uh, uh, masked pretty well, and um, I painted the handle in black, and I clear coated the whole thing. Uh, now, when I was uh, picking it up after I was finished uh, painting the whole thing, um, it got a bit stuck uh, on the um, stand I used uh, while printing it, so. It got a bit torn up in the paint. Well, actually, there was some kind of residue on the handle. I tried to take it up uh, off with a knife, but uh, unfortunately, 
I barely got anything off, so I sanded it a bit down. Uh, and that turned out pretty okay, but it's still a really small defect, so it's not factory new <laughs> anymore. Anyway, I don't know how well you can see the fade on the camera. I will take a close-up pictures and uh, video maybe of it. We will see what I do in editing. Oh, well, I guess you will see. But I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Um, and obviously you can do this stuff like in the Counter-Strike thing almost perfectly every time. Oh, damn it. I said almost, so I guess that's okay. And uh, well, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, and if you do, please tell me or uh, what, what uh, other type of thing you want to see me make or do. Uh, I really enjoyed like painting this and working with it. I ha don't have a lot of time and I don't ha have a lot of money for filler and paint and stuff like that. But uh, this is something I really enjoy doing. So I might do more of this in the future, uh, um, if I can afford it. Uh, I was also thinking I might embark on uh, making a Stormtrooper helmet in the future. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, actually I'm not a Star Wars fan at all. I mean, I don't dislike Star Wars, I watched everyone I think, except from the new one. Um, because I, I didn't want to spend money to watch the new one, so I never did. Oh yeah, I made a stand as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I might even make a giveaway on this sometime in the future, uh, if I feel like it. And if people think it looks good enough to be given away, of course. Um, so let me know what you think and uh, uh, if you like this video leave a like <laughs> and if you dislike li leave a dislike and well you can if you dislike I would really like you to uh, comment uh, down below why you disliked it so I can try to improve um, on my quality and my content so I can make it better for you so you might one day press the like button instead <laughs> and for more subscribe of course and I'll see you later or something yay